This is the um, CPU we're overclocking today. It's an AMD Athlon X2 250. It's got um, a clock frequency of 3000 MHz. It has a bus speed of 533 MHz. Built it has the uh, memory controller on the chip, so that could pose uh, some interesting issues. Sockets AM2 Plus or AM3. It's 938 pins. Obviously, it's a 64 bit CPU. 65 watt part standard, 0.85 volts to 1.425 volts. Right, and this is the motherboard we're going to be doing it on. It's an ASRock N68C-SUCC. It has AMD Phenom 2x6 support. I have to get pick myself one of those up as well. Supports UCC features, unlock CPU core, Hyper Transport 2000 MHz, DDR3 and DDR2 support. Integrated NVIDIA graphics 72.7025, which is a 7 series with um, DirectX 9 capability and Shader Model 3.0 support. Wow! And um, yeah, supports ASRock Fast RAM, XFast Lane, XFast USB technologies, supports Instant Boot, Instant Flash, OC DNA, ASRock OC Tune Up, 150% CPU increase. Yeah, that will uh, be interesting if you tried that. Supports Intelligent Energy Saver, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so this should be quite interesting. Right, let's get on with it. Right, so I've overclocked the CPU from 3 gigahertz to 3.9 gigahertz. Um, we had to up the voltage to, um, I think it was 1.45 volts. And it seems to be perfectly stable. It runs Blender and everything just fine on in Linux. My mate's got me Windows CD at the moment, so and it's also got USB, so we're going to put Windows 7 on this thing, and um, yeah, we'll be all good. Um, yeah, he has the Windows disk and the USB key for Windows 10, but apart from that, it all works. So we'll be running some games on this thing, benchmarking some games on this thing, and as well as 3D Mark in the future. And we'll also be doing Sub-Zero CPU calling to see if we can push it further. Right, that concludes the video on the AMD Athlon X2 250. Sorry, not AMD Athlon X2 250, AMD Athlon 2 250. Try saying that three times fast. Okay. See